Hey friends, hey family, it's your girl Melissa Q. Welcome back for another video. Como estas bienvenidos? Now, I usually post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's been kind of crazy because construction's been going on. My kids been sick. I started a new job and it's just crazy. But it's videos every week, y'all. I'm still hitting it up. I'm just my schedule. Sometimes I can't upload because my kids are sick and you know they come first. You know what I'm saying? In today's video, we are talking about the best foundations during spring and summer for dry skin. My skin is usually dry. Now it's getting a little, it's normalizing a little bit, but I still like that fresh hydration look. Yes. So let's get into my favorite foundations for dry skin. Let's start off with the foundation I am wearing today, Minted. This is their skin foundation stick. It's called Skin, y'all. And it looks like skin. I love this so much. Yes, it's a very hydrating stick. Like, this beats out my Vanish stick, y'all. Now, let me tell you something. The Vanish stick, for some reason, breaks up on me. But I can say that this one is a longer lasting. When I have, my nose is normally oily. So if I just put down a mattifying type of primer i'm good to go i'm okay but i love these products i have it on as my bronzer and as my foundation so in this skin foundation i am l20 for my foundation and i am t40 in my bronzer i love using this to sculpt i've been using cream products it's reasonably priced y'all it lasts for 18 months so you get a little bit longer wear in it the shades now look i am the lightest shade so if you need a dark a deep shade y'all this is the place to go yes usually foundations usually stop at my skin tone and they just slight my sisters okay my chocolate sisters don't have anything but you know the, the the industry has gotten better if you want to bronze i feel like that these are the perfect undertones to be honest with you guys and it looks like skin yes just saying this and y'all tell me if this is true yes elijah get back to me mm -hmm. y'all don't see elijah as much as y'all see joseph say hi hi this is Elijah. Y'all usually see Joseph, but Elijah is almost taller than me, y'all. Look at this. Stand up. Look at this. <gasps> All right. If mommy fights this, it's okay. If your room, your room gotta be clean up first. This is what happens, y'all. Yeah, sister can't film like she won't to. You can purchase the brush. It's not a necessity. But girl, these are the bomb. If you're going to get anything, get the foundation. And I feel like that, um, you know what? I want to use myself as a reference. And I know that this has a couple of other YouTubers that are reviewing this. So find somebody that's your shade, your skin tone, if you want to see it. Of course, I'm going to leave swatches and show it in this video. But I will leave a link down below so you guys can check these out, pick it up. I am so proud of Minted. Yes, I want to do like a full face. I can finally do a full face of minted. Yes, maybe that's a good video. Okay, I love these. So I told you guys that I am on a foundation stick like craze, right? The Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is their foundation stick. I am in golden tan and then I'm in almond for the bronzing. I'm telling y'all, it's so easy. I do it in the car. It's so easy. Just blend, blend, blend. Oh my lord. Thank you so much. Wet n Wild. It's cruelty free. If you need something that is cruelty free, by the way, Minted is cruelty free and vegan. So I'm bringing y'all some good options here. Okay. Both of these foundation sticks melt into the skin and it is what I am loving right now. Okay, so let's head on over to the drugstore. I'm going to give you two options. Unfortunately, my healthy skin elixir has been discontinued. I am so sorry and I'm crying about it. But let's talk about one that is like if I had to choose one foundation from the drugstore that is liquid, it would be the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. I did do a review. It looks beautiful. And if Pro Glow and Pro Matte had a baby, it would be 24 hour fresh wear. But this is it is like high coverage you can't get full coverage on this but i love the fact that if you use a beauty blender it shears it out you will get full coverage based upon the tool that you have and of course how much you use but i really do like this i am in the shade 
500 honey bisque I love this so much the range is insane unlike Dior this one has like a whole range I can't remember how many I know it's at least 20 but if you want to check out that video go ahead I'll leave a link over here so you guys can check it out but this one is so beautiful on the skin especially if you have dry skin this one can be a go-to for you let's talk about the drugstore again this one is so so beautiful I've seen oily skin I've seen um, I've seen dry skin talk about this and this is the NYX total control Oh my goodness this is a drop foundation it lasts for 24 months so these are like long lasting this is probably the long the most long lasting foundation from the drugstore I've never seen two years on a foundation but this is so beautiful I know it's small but let me tell you this would be a dupe to the Smashbox BB water if you like something like that remember the the Makeup Forever face and body back in the day they look so similar um, also the Estee Lauder there's one I think it was like double wear light or something like that um, and the Mac studio uh, studio weight water weight I think it's the Mac studio water weight foundation those are very very similar with this this still has the best undertone there's so many ranges NYX does really well when it comes to skin tone ranges I am in the shade TCDF 15 caramel I love this so much it looks so natural on the skin if you need to mattify it just a little bit you can use a primer or a powder on top but the finish is so beautiful either way it's not gonna be cakey it's gonna give you a beautiful 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 finish is it is one of those drop foundations that gives it's like high pigment but it's so beautiful on the skin that I cannot go without talking about it okay so I did get NARS sheer glow as a gift so it's put away but I have to talk about NARS sheer glow it is my favorite NARS foundation I love it so much it does give a really great medium satin finish I love it so much it gives now sheer glow you think it's gonna make you feel oily or greasy I have seen oily skin love this foundation as well to dry skin like this foundation I love it so much it gives a skin like if you want to share it out but you can also build it up to a wonderful full coverage it is so beautiful on the skin those are one of the you know the NARS sheer glow is one of those like fail safe type of foundations I have not seen that one person that I I mean that's one of those foundations I haven't seen a lot of people not like so I love it so much so I had to mention it okay another one that I just went through is the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation it is my highest priced foundation at 62 to 64 dollars but I love it so much like skin you get the satin finish you can build it up it looks so beautiful on the skin and the undertone let me tell you Giorgio Armani has undertones correct now YSL is kind of uh, but Giorgio Armani that olive skin tone if you have an olive skin tone and you want a high-end foundation I highly recommend either NARS or Giorgio Armani but Giorgio Armani is the bomb okay I'm in shade number nine in the Giorgio Armani oh and in NARS I am Syracuse sometimes Tahoe in the summer but mostly Syracuse okay so I reviewed this foundation so long ago and I love this one so much and this is the Too Faced Born This Way you're gonna get full coverage with this one but it looks so beautiful I am in the shade honey it is so beautiful on the skin it's full I did do a, a full review but I was using the shade sand which at that time did they have honey I think they did and but I love this so so much you this one is a 12 month so once you open it you have to use it but I'm gonna tell you this one is very very similar to the Giorgio Armani even the packaging looks alike but I feel like that this one is more I want to say it, it contains hyaluronic acid and I believe coconut water so it's a lot more hydrating but Giorgio Armani is still hydrating but this one just feels so good on the skin and I've seen so many people love this foundation as well if you are looking for something that's mid-range you don't want to pay Giorgio Armani price but you want that Giorgio Armani look born this way is the way to go last foundation I'm gonna talk about in this video I could talk about a whole lot of more foundations because I love bases but these are the ones that just come to mind that I love so much this is the Josie Marin this is their vibrancy foundation I have it in fearless this is the argon oil foundation fluid this is my summer shade but it looks so good now you can get full coverage on this but 
you want something that looks like skin with this one this one is going to give you that super fresh glowy glass look if you the wants the glass like skin skin and you want a liquid foundation rather than a stick foundation this one it looks so beautiful on the skin and I know in my future videos what I do want to do at least is let y'all know what foundation I'm wearing just because I get so many compliments on my skin on my face on uh, like what I'm using and so I definitely want to come and show you guys the foundation and uh, yeah so that's it you guys those are the foundations that I think are immaculate for dry skin I did do this video maybe about two years ago but I wanted to come and update and share some I don't think any of these was in that video which is super cool because you got more options thanks so much for watching you guys comment down below let me know what your favorite spring summer foundation if you have dry skin let me know your favorite if you have oily skin let me know I would love to try some new bases thanks so much I'll see you in the next one